the entrance antiphon, you have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue. Oops, excuse me, that's Friday. <laughs> oh God, when you we went, went forth, forth before, before your people, people marching with them and living among, among them, them, the earth trembled, trembled heavens poured, poured down rain. rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had killed him by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, cry the cry of the, the poor. poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the, the poor. poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, to those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the poor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does, not, whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Read the words of the gospel. So we're not in school right now, 
And when you're at school, there's school rules. Whether you go to this school or that school or another school, or right here at St. Edmunds, one of the things that we as Catholics recognize, and I think more than just Catholics, is that rules don't just depend on where you are. Just so you're on the playground and you, you another person's playing with a ball that you want to play with, right? So what you do is you go up and you trip them. And then teachers, and then you take the ball and the teacher says, no, you can't do that. That's against the rules. Okay. So then you're out of school and you're out at home and your little brother or sister has the ball and you go up to trip them. Well, and you take the ball is, is it still against the rules or did the rules stop when you weren't at school? We believe that there's a truth no matter where you are. There's a truth about how to treat people. There's a truth about life. Um, that right and wrong in many cases or most cases doesn't change depending where you are. Um, now, of course, <laughs> driving on the what side of the street does depend on where you are, whether you're in Europe or, or here in the United States or Britain. Um, but right and wrong, they just are. And in, in the first reading, Peter says, we must obey God rather than men. So us human beings sometimes just make up what right and wrong make up the truth, whatever we want it to be. And we don't listen to the truth that always lasts, that comes from God. And what Peter and the apostles are doing, they're trying to witness to the truth of God, the truths that, that God gives us that are always true, whether we think it or not. And the truth in this case is that Jesus died and rose from the dead and that God has exalted him to be the leader and savior of Israel. And the apostles, they're, they're not concerned if people disagree with them. They're witnessing to the truth that doesn't change. And in the gospel, it's similar, is that Jesus says he's come from above and he's testifying to what he has seen and heard. And he's telling, he says, hey, people don't accept my testimony, Jesus says. People aren't ac accepting the truth that I'm witnessing to. The truth of God our Father and the Holy Spirit and the love of the Father and the Son. So we as Catholics, we as Christians, men and women of goodwill everywhere, we're called to witness to the truth, whatever it is. The truth that does not depend on what we want to believe or not to believe. The truth that is. That, for example, it's, it's always wrong to trip someone to steal from them. <laughs> no matter if you're at this school or that school, home or wherever you might be. But that's a, that truth is important. But let's not miss the big truth of Easter. Is that Christ has died Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. We now lift up some of our many prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the church and her leaders, may God's grace fill them with strength and enthusiasm in spreading the Easter message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority throughout the world, may the Lord guide them in the ways of peace, justice, and con conflict resolution. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with physical, emotional, or mental pain, may God's loving grace heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all our brothers and sisters who have died, especially Kevin Doty and Marianne Micas. May God welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. And for the intentions of this Mass, Benny Harvey, Maria Hine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Together we offer our vocations prayer. God, God our, our Father, Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You'll become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands the for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with this sacrificial offering, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim proclaim your your death, death, O Lord, Lord, and and profess your your resurrection resurrection until until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May we receive of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me into judgment and condemnation, but through your love and mercy be for me protection of mind and body and healing. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. I now invite you to join me in making a prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us today and continuing to support our mission here at Holy Trinity and St. Edmund. Um, today, I believe at 4 o'clock Central Time, Jason Slinker is giving a uh, presentation on Facebook Live on uh, recycling uh, as part of our stewardship of the earth. And so I invite you to tune in for that. And if I'm incorrect on the time, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so just pay attention to Facebook. Um, hope you have a wonderful day. And let's continue to pray for one another in our world. And, you know, uh, today is Thursday. So we think of the day of the Eucharist and the day of the priesthood. Just like Holy Thursday, Jesus um, uh, instituted the priesthood and the Eucharist. Um, so today, if you don't mind, say a few more prayers for, for some more priests that our young men would, um, would consider and be open to that call. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank Thanks be to God. God.